Welcome back folks. Today I've got something quite unusual. It's a, well this is, could tick a lot of boxes. You could use this as your everyday vehicle. This is a 2013 Citroen Berlingo multivan. So it's got all the windows but it has been converted by Chapel Motorhomes, um, a very well respected converter of micro campus. They've been doing that for a long time. Um, so, and it also comes with a trailer with, when I say lots, lots of accessories. So you've got the cupboard above the trailer that carries all the extra boards and some extra accessories. And inside, I'll show you shortly, and it's fully loaded. Okay, it's uh, had two owners. It was MOT last month, flew through, not a single advisory. In the last uh, couple of months also, it's had four new tyres. So it's all set for the new keeper. I think she's had six service stamps and it will have an engine service before it is collected or delivered. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country. Uh, yeah, coming around. So it's got the alloy wheels, power steering, electric windows, central locking, air conditioning, um, like electric mirrors. It's got a lot of this. Roof racks. 1.6 diesel. My wife actually drove this back from down south. It drove fantastic. Oh, and just while I'm here, I'll just show you here. So this is the original three seats. In the back, you can actually, there's some fast nuts. So you could actually remove a little bit of the conversion and put the three seats back in if you wished. So as I say, you've got a very versatile vehicle. You can use it as your everyday vehicle as it is now with the two front seats ideal for a single traveller or two travellers or you could put these seats back in at any time and swap it from a camper van back to a normal vehicle. Uh, so you've got the, the seated cushions for the table area, uh, it's got the fitting, everything's being thought about, it's even got the buttons, little buttons that clip into the receptors, into the motorhome so it just stays where it should be when you're travelling. There's a lot of effort and design gone into this. It's got a gas bottle in. This is the uh, table. Um, we're just using it. At a, let's have a quick look. So as it is at the moment, I've just set it up in the large double bed configuration. So it has the boards here. That's the table that folds down and boards, the two front seats, they fold flat and then we put the overboards up. So you can have it as a single uh, bed or you can put the second, second one across over the driver's seat and you've got a large double bed. Uh, I'm not you would obviously want some sort of over mattress, a uh, little mattress. There's that many bits and bobs inside in bags here. I'm not sure whether there's a blown uh, mattress included, but that's for you to uh, find out. As you can see, it's got all the fitted curtains. Everything's been thought about carefully. Okay, just coming around the rear. So you've just got the rear wiper. Uh, you can see there it's been converted by Chapel Motorhomes. Chapelmotorhomes.co.uk. Check them out. So here we are. So we've got an Erdy 150 trailer and the Fuel Ocean 600 cupboard above. That's locking, so we just unlock that there. Lift that up. Say so there's nothing in it. Oh, we can work. Well, I'm saying there's nothing in this. Uh, I would suggest those are floor mats. There's uh, a, a large awning, so I would suggest the ground mats. That's lockable. We've also got lockers here on the trailer. So I'll just lift that up now. And we've got a little pole here that holds that in place. Uh, I don't know whether the camera's gonna see. Oh, we've got a, a camper dometic cross earth tag VW. I'm not sure what that is. I assume that's an awning. It must be, because you've got the pump there to blow it up. You've got pegs, water bottle, toilet, uh, another water bottle. Uh, so we've got something else in a big bag here underneath. So again, I'm not sure whether that's a, that's a mattress. What have we got in here? Uh, we've got a 12 volt fan heater. We've got uh, an LED light, electric pump, awning tent. Light. There's lots of accessories here. So obviously you could have this set up or move the trailer to one side and have the full awning. Okay. Put that down. It just clicks into place there. We put these latches on and there's a lock there. So that's fully lockable as well. Okay, coming around the driver's side. 
So it is fully converted. So it's got the mains hook up here. You've got a mains double socket inside, USB sockets, um, electric running cold water, uh, tap and, uh, and container, uh, container for your gas bottle. Yes, she's lovely. Okay. Right, we'll have a little uh, flyover by the drone and then what I'll do, I'll just uh, reconfigure the seats inside and just show you inside with the seats as they are for driving. Okay, drone, over to you. I've just separated the trailer so now I can show you the tailgate up access to the camper let's uh, move these uh, curtains back so yes a very neat and nimble unit fitted by Chapel Motorhomes so we could actually access the kitchen sink from here Swivels around for the, the curtain stays. That's the uh, tap. Two burner hob. This looks brand new. It doesn't look like it's been used. The last owner has had it three years. That's what it was converted by to a, a camper van. Uh, oh, he's left you a toaster there. Just storage. So in there that you've got your fresh water and there's a pump that drops down into there. Oh, you've even got a new microwave, would you believe? And your gas bottle. Yeah, you've got all the bits and bobs here to get you started. Okay, so opening the rear sliding door. So now it's set back up. So you've got the three standing table with a tripod that fits in neatly there. This is what I was saying about the cushions, the clipped on buttons. So there's one there and that's clipped in so that wouldn't move when you're traveling. So access to the rear area. Obviously those curtains will tidy up with the, the uh, stay back fasteners. Roof lights all working. And now it's set up with both the seats swivel. Can you believe how they've done that? So it's got three fasteners. The driver's seat was testing me for a little bit. I didn't know how to swivel the seat down because I thought the uh, driver, uh, the steering wheel would get in the way. All you do is this seat goes completely flat to the board, flat down, and then that will swivel underneath the steering wheel. Then the front to back, you can lift that, bring it back, and obviously then you can put the uh, back of the seat back. How's about that? This is really use of a small space. Bit hard to see the, these um, are just on three fasteners, one, two of these, and then that will spin around and move around. I can give you a full demonstration upon collection or delivery. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. I'll be more than happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom myself and give you a full demonstration. You can contact me on 0798 526 1078 and I'll be happy to answer any questions. I don't think there's anything else to show you. You've seen the uh, roof rails. Yeah, it's got everything. So it will come with all the accessories in here, as well as the original seats, so you can keep those um, if you wanted to convert it back to a, a vehicle or a car, as it were. Okay, I'll catch you on that next video. We've got a couple more arrived. There's a Talisman diesel that's just arrived. That'll be going in the workshop over the next two weeks. And I think that'll be the next one going on sale. That's a 96 Auto Sleeper Symphony. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on that next video.